The Sioux Falls Stampede has enjoyed its share of success, winning USHL's top prize three times since joining the league back in 1999. Sioux Falls is actually the reigning Clark Cup champion, as last year's campaign was cut short due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Travis Fawson explains how the Stampede is navigating its way through the pandemic, playing by COVID's rules. It's a Friday night in early February, and fans are flocking to the Premier Center for Stampede Hockey. We get to come play hockey every day, so can't complain. It hasn't been quite every day. Three months into the USHL season, the herd has had four games altered or postponed by COVID-19. The league has done a really good job, put a lot of protocols in place, uh, making sure that uh, the teams are doing everything they can to keep the players safe. The USHL has a team doctor available to answer questions and hosts a weekly call among the presidents allowing teams to compare notes when it comes to COVID-19. They've been really, really good about uh, getting us uh, information. Um, you know, been there if we have questions or need help, and, uh, and they've been a real good guidance for us to, to make sure that we can do things successfully. Success comes at a price. Stampede players aren't allowed to gather and socialize away from the ice. It's harder to grow as a team when you can't really hang out outside of the rink. You can't be with your teammates outside of the rink, but we found ways to become closer, but it's definitely unique. We've made it quite clear to the players that, you know, it only takes one person for something to, to go wrong here and for this virus to spread. And, you know, you're seeing it at the NHL where teams are shutting down for weeks on end. And, you know, we don't want to have that happen here. The players are not subject to regular COVID testing, but are monitored by athletic trainer Jordan Witzel. Making sure we're filling out our forms, taking our temperatures every day at the rink, and then if uh, someone has symptoms, they'll go get a test. And then from there, if uh, kind of spirals from there, if they test positive, we'll go get other guys checked out too that have been around them. That's a scenario that recently played out in the Stampede locker room. And the reason head coach Marty Murray wasn't on the bench last weekend. We had one player that uh, tested positive, and unfortunately he took uh, six players down with him due to close contacts, me being one of them. I uh, did a video with him the day before he tested positive. So, um, you know, that's the world we're living in right now. After missing two games, Murray tested negative on Tuesday and returned to practice Wednesday. Another chapter for the first-year head coach to add to his story probably been more stressful than a normal year for him, but I think he's really handled it well and uh, has done a, a terrific job in, in making sure that uh, our players are safe and that we can still put a competitive team on the ice. It's been a battle, no question about it. There's there's still lots of things that you wonder if you're doing things right or if you could have done things differently, but you know, this is something new to all of us and it's almost a day-to-day, week-to-week thing where you got to, you know, there's certainly things that will come across your plate and you just got to handle them as they come. The coaches and players aren't the only ones making adjustments. You know, our fans base has, has done a tremendous job of, of following the rules and being respectful of others and, and making it a lot easier for us. The Stampede is ranked number one in the USHL in attendance since 2012. This season asking guests to wear a mask and social distance, the team has seen about 65 percent of its usual number of fans. Now for most teams in our league that's that's a pretty good number. Um, you know for us we are a little down but that was to be anticipated. Not the capacity that it's been in the past but uh, you know me, me being new uh, I probably don't know any different but uh, I certainly feel the energy with our fans and you can see why you know for the best fans in the, in the USHL. Those fans will only get louder as the Stampede continues its title defense. I like the way our, our team's playing right now, so uh, I think you should watch out. With Ion Kelloland, I'm Travis Fawcett.